right. It is... Oh my gosh, this looks huge to me. <laughs> um, I am 14 weeks pregnant today. So that means that I am entering my, or I have entered my second trimester, which is wild to me. And I can't believe I haven't told any of you yet. I don't know when I'm gonna announce it. I don't know how I'm gonna announce it. I really didn't film a lot of the stuff that I wanted to film. like. I was just thinking, okay, in my next pregnancy, I'm going to do X, Y, and Z. And I really just didn't do any of it. Like I didn't film when I did my pregnancy test. I didn't film anything. So I just, I guess I just didn't feel like it. So, um, I just soak it in the moment and not worrying about social media. So can't be mad about that. Um, I did go to home goods the other day. It was like pouring rain and I thought it was going to be like empty because San Diegans don't know how to drive in the rain. <laughs> um, so I get there and it's like so packed. So I got some stuff. They didn't have a cart at first. I go up to the front, I'm like, hey, I've got this baby. And do you have a cart? Like I checked out in the cart return. There's no cart, so they found me a cart, thank goodness. But pillows, when you're shopping for pillows at Home Goods, they take up so much space. So I'll show you what I got. So you may or may not know, but we're about to remodel our room. So this headboard and bed frame, I hate that he puts his hats up here, it drives me crazy, is from Restoration Hardware. It is so beautiful, but the rest of our room is just like, guys, like the ugliest thing you've ever seen. Like there's a piece of carpet missing here, it's all stained. Like we're about to rip all this out and remodel this room. And my clothes are all here, I've got shoes here. It's just, it. this room gives me anxiety. <laughs> but I thought maybe I could make it look a little nicer than this and at least like put some throw pillows on it. Like I have a vagina, like I love throw pillows. So these are what I got. These are just like two big white ruffle pillows. And then I got these two and I kind of just end up buying like whatever I feel like because I'm like, oh, I'll return it if I don't like the way it looks. So let's go ahead and make that look a little nicer. Another night I fall in your sight. It's definitely an improvement, but I think what's bugging me right now is I thought I bought like a white one of these and I didn't and those are white and these are like off white and have like a little cream in there so I don't know I'm, I think I might need a new duvet cover also rocket has just keeps getting these like little stains on here that's why I had that sheet on top so I don't know I don't think I'm loving this duvet cover I think I might need to get a new one but I'm gonna sleep on that not literally for like a few hours and see what I think. But these side tables also have to go. They're so hideous. And the lamps, oh my gosh, Nick had these from when he was a bachelor. They're so terrible. And once and for all, no more effing hats on the bed. Are you walking with your walker? You're a little stuck, huh? Ah! Let's turn you around. Go this way. There we go. There we go. Good job. There you go. Okay, now go. You can get up. You got it. Good job. Good job, Harlow. Good job. Good job. We are, um, I kind of got interrupted from doing my makeup, so it's like some of my eyes are done. Um, we are making lunch over here, and then I'm also streaming Bella Fiore. I'm up, I'm getting like updated on her channel. I haven't um, watched one of her murder mystery ones in a long time, and this one is a solved one, finally. I remember watching the other one about this. Um, so Harlow's over here playing. I just made this delicious looking salad. I'm starving. I pretty much only eaten breakfast today. I'm gonna put some of my favorite dressing on it. And we have a little barnacle. Hi, my little barnacle. Hi, that's the prettiest barnacle I ever did see. <laughs> so I'm gonna eat this and then tonight we are going to be watching Bachelor, the dumpster fire that is The Bachelor right now. 
And I'm gonna put her down for a nap in a minute and finish all of this, but kind of that's how my day is going. <sighs> okay. End of the day today, I got so much done. I don't really like the makeup of pillows on the bed, as it turns out. My friend who's coming over tonight to watch Bachelor, one of them, is um, really good at interior design. So I'm going to bring her back there and be like, please help me make this bed look nice. Like, what do I do with this? <laughs> My eyelash is coming off. Um, I'm going to go get some rolled tacos tonight. I have actually only gained three pounds since I got pregnant, which feels really good. I've been really conscious about what I've been eating and I've been working out. So I feel really good about that. Um, which is why I'm going to cheat tonight and have some rolled tacos. Um, and honestly, I've just been like doing things in moderation, like what I want to eat, I will eat, but I will then eat cleaner throughout the day to, you know, make up for the extra junk that I ate, if that makes sense. Cause I'm definitely not on some crazy strict diet. Like I had gushers the other day and I was like, oh, that's really good. I'm probably not gonna have a piece of bread later or, you know, whatever. I've been, I've just been healthy, which feels really good. <sighs> Currently the baby, I was just on the, I was just on um, the phone with Nick and he's like, uh, are you sure your belly is, are you sure the baby's not like the size of like an orange instead of a, a prune? And I'm like, actually now at four, uh, 14 weeks, um, the baby is the size of, I don't know if you can see that, the size of a navel orange. So a navel orange is pretty large. So yeah, my belly is definitely popping a lot more. I'm tired. I slept in pretty good. So as far as symptoms go, I'm pretty tired still. And suppose I'm supposed to be eating like 300 more calories a day right now, which I'm kind of not doing just because I've been really busy. So I'm working on that, working on just healthy snacks all day throughout the day. So that's been a bit of a challenge, but I'm drinking tons of water and I still have gas really bad. That is like my number one symptom that I just, that sticks out of my mind, like with Harlow and with this baby, I just have gas, like not all day long. It gets really bad in the evening and Nick is just like, oh, like I need to wear a gas mask. <laughs> I'm like, I know it's gnarly. So, but other than that, I've been feeling pretty dang good. Like I've been so lucky. I haven't had morning sickness or anything and I don't feel sick at all. So that's been great. Like I hardly even feel pregnant to be honest, but now my belly is like, it's sticking out there pretty good. So cheers to 14 weeks. Up. Okay. You say up. <laughs> Harlow's second word is up. Yeah. She wants so badly to touch the camera. <laughs> okay, so had a bit of a scare last night and it's still continuing actually. Um, so I'm 15 weeks, two days today. Um, and last night at four, I woke up feeling kind of wet down there. Not a lot, just a little bit. Like, you know how you like in the middle of the night, like if you haven't prepared properly for your period and like you wake up and like, you know, you had a period, you're like, I feel it. I didn't feel like the flow, not, not, not the gush, but, um, you want to crawl this way, maybe? We're not going to play with the camera. Play with these toys over here. So I was like, okay, I just need to get up to see what color this is and just make sure everything's good. Just had a kind of a feeling that it, it wasn't. <laughs> is that funny? So I got up, I went pee and there's a little bit of blood when I went pee. And then when I went back to my mattress, there was like a little stain of, um, not like pure blood, but like diluted, if that makes sense. I'm really TMI on this channel. If you don't like that, you're probably not gonna enjoy my videos for the most part. But, um, so, hey, let's play with these. So that really freaked me out and I grabbed my Doppler right away and I was like, well, it, I, this can help, help or miss. I'll still feel the same. So I was able to find heartbeat on the Doppler and um, this morning, a tiny bit of blood again when I peed um, and uh, I'm really hoping that it's just like normal spotting because spotting during pregnancy is completely normal. But after going through, you know, <laughs> a word that we're not gonna say, it, it's kind of always in the back of your mind and it's, it's scary. 
So I'm gonna call the, uh, the doctor actually confirmed gender this morning as well through uh, my little uh, hospital portal. Ow, that hurt. That, that hurt, can we not throw that? That stays on the table. Um, so I'm gonna let them know today, this morning about that, um, but I do feel very relieved that I heard his heartbeat last night at 4 a.m. and this morning on the Doppler. But also the Doppler can be a little scary, as you know, because it can sometimes, if the baby's in a certain position, you can't really hear it, so it can cause worry where there shouldn't be any. But today it has really helped me because I'm like, okay, so, um, Obviously the baby is healthy and our NIPT scan um, came back negative, which is great. So um, anyways, just a little on edge this morning. My heart rate's a little elevated. I'm just, um, I've just been praying a little bit uh, just to make sure our baby is nice and healthy. And yeah, so hopefully everything's good and hopefully it's just normal spotting. So I'll keep you guys updated on that. Are we gonna smack the camera with that? I just like to hit stuff with stuff, huh? I understand. One of the dogs last night chewed up one of these blocks and I'm so annoyed that I left it out. I'm annoyed first and foremost that they chewed it because <laughs> they know better, but I shouldn't have left it out either. So I have to go clean that up right now. So I'll check in with you guys later um, and let you know if, if they call me out of the doctor to check anything, I'll, I'll keep you guys updated. <laughs> Maybe we turn this around so you can't see yourself. <laughs> oh, my boobs are sore. I did forget to mention, mm, I did a great workout yesterday. I literally got almost 800 steps in, which for me, I mean, I don't know where that ranks for normal, normal people and everyone else. That sounds so weird, like I'm not normal. I forgot to mention in the hype of everything that I'm thinking about, that I was talking about earlier with you guys, I did um, almost 800 steps yesterday, which I'm pretty stoked on. Usually I do about 450, like that's my goal. I did like 800 yesterday and I did a really good workout at the gym and I like closed my move ring and my exercise ring by like 10.30, it was great. So my goal today is to get out of here as soon as our nanny gets here. So I'm gonna go ahead and eat breakfast. I'm gonna see if I can enlist Harlow into helping me make breakfast so she's not just crawling around, hanging out by herself. Um, hi baby, come over here. But yeah, I did a really good workout yesterday. That felt great. Um, and I'm hoping to do the same thing today. So the triage nurse just called me and kind of like, it's not super common to like bleed in your second trimester. I'm kind of like just right there though. I've only been in my second trimester for a week. Um, but she asked me if I had sex and I said, no, my husband's at work. So she kind of went through some different questions with me and, um, kind of just seems like my body just does that sometimes because I did have a pretty crazy thing happen with Harlow where I had a lot of bleeding and a lot of gushing and there's a subchorionic hemorrhage which can also cause a little bit of that so she kind of was asking me if it's still like flowing or it was never flowing but I went in the bathroom when I was talking to her and I was like, oh, it's starting to turn like a brown color and like drying up basically. So like there's a little bit like when I wipe or whatever, but it's not like actively coming out. And she asked me about, <clears throat> about cramping and my stomach is kind of like in knots a little bit, but I think it's because I'm nervous and I don't think it has anything to do with anything other than that. I also did just go number two and you know how your stomach kind of sometimes gets a little uh, right before you're about to go to the bathroom. So there's a little bit of that. And now nerves, like last night my heart was racing <clears throat> a lot when I um, discovered that in the bed and I, I was terrified. So um, yeah, I'm feeling better that it's 
you know, drying up. So she said to keep an eye on it throughout the day. If there's any like thing that looks like it could be like a period kind of starting, then I would, I should go to the ER. So, um, Nick is going to be home in a little bit. I'm glad he's going to be here today. Um, just for a little moral support. And, um, she said not to work out today. So I'll probably just do maybe some walking. Um, but yeah, that's kind of it. So I will keep you guys in the loop. And if no news is good news, right? So hopefully I don't report back to you and to like a week or two from now. Um, and yeah, I don't know where I'm going to end this vlog. I should look over my footage and see how long it's going to be. Um, but yeah, that's kind of, that's kind of where we're at. I'm drinking my decaf espresso. I'm going to edit some stuff. Um, and then we've also got a contractor coming over in an hour. Um, we are about to start remodeling our bedroom and our bathroom. And I'm very excited to get that done. Our bedroom is hideous. If you follow me on Instagram or have watched more than this vlog, then you've seen it before. It's special. I am 15 weeks. Am I 15 weeks today? 16 weeks. Hang on. I don't, I don't remember. Is that funny to mama can't remember? I'm 16 weeks today. <laughs> I was like, wait a second. I remember this being more of a round number because I probably should have closed this vlog off at 15 weeks. But um, yeah, so I'm 16 weeks today. That's so crazy. I have a gnarly headache. I don't know where it came from. I have not drank enough. I have not had enough water today, but I'm gonna go, like I was just, I've had a day. Today has been like one of the most Monday Mondays. I know, do you wanna be in it? You can come sit on mama's lap. Come over here. Can you leave that alone, please? What's in your mouth? Hey, excuse me, Carlita. You got something in your mouth? I always get freaked out when I see her looking like she's chewing because it's usually a rock from a planter or like something random on the ground. Like, <laughs> oh, this pounding headache. Um, today has been the most Monday, monday E of Mondays. I have a really big pet peeve. I don't understand why people cannot teach their children manners. And if your child does not have manners in the moment, it is a teachable moment. I'm not here to tell people how to like parent their children, but I think that having manners and treating people with respect is super important. I don't care where you come from or what walk of life you have, what culture you are, like you need to have some manners. Even if you say it to me in another language, I will understand like the gesture. Can we not do that, sweetie? Here, you wanna put it on here? Goes on here, put it on top. So anyways, just like kids at stores, just like cutting you off, running in front of your cart or being just blocking the entire aisle and having absolutely no like, idea about their surroundings. You want this? And the parent just like, instead of making it a teachable moment, like, hey, like look around you, like you're blocking it, like say, sorry. They just like pull the cart and stare at you. Like, okay, it's out of the way now. It's like, really bitch? Like, excuse me, I'm trying not to cuss because she's starting to talk. She said like seven words now. So we're trying not to do that anymore. Um, the dogs are having a grand old time back there. <laughs> Can you see them? <laughs> So anyways, I've just, I've just been kind of in a bad mood all day today and I'm chalking a lot of this up to the weather right now. It's been like rainy in San Diego and just dreary and I get like seasonal depression and it, it sucks. Um, so we're looking at rain tomorrow. Oh, I have to cover my table. Cover the table. Um, I gotta do that right after this. So anyways, um, I did just drink an espresso with caffeine, which I haven't been doing. So I, that's probably why I sound like I've just done seven lines of, um, so 16 weeks. I'm feeling good. I have not had any more bleeding of any sort. It's been good. Everything's been great. Um, I still have not announced anything on social media. It's been super weird for me, but I feel like it's like a good thing. But it's also kind of annoying because I keep having to censor myself. Like I keep saying things or I've talked about it in a video that is supposed to go live. So I kind of took a break off from uploading today. I, my memory is just like completely shot. So that's been like a bad, like pregnancy brain. Never stopped for me with this one. Thank you. Thank you. She's been like a parrot, like repeating things. Thank you. 
Apparently not right now. <laughs> uh, so I went to Ross today. I totally struck out, but I did get a couple things I wanted to show you guys. I am, let me take, let me take this off here. I did get these. I thought these were super cute. These were only $7.99, which is great. I needed a few more toy bins because I've got two of these and a smaller one of these. And this is just too many toys at once, I think. Hi, cutie. I think this is just too many toys at once. So I was going to start separating these so that we have a little bit of, a, is that funny? A little bit of a collection in each one so that it doesn't get too boring for her. And I'm curious, what kind of collection of toys do you guys have? I'm sure everyone's quite different, but is this like a lot of toys or not? Like this is not even actually a toy, but she likes it. Um, I've got about, I've got another one of these full and one that's like half this size and this that you see here, that's all I have for toys. Is that a lot or a little, or I don't know, you mamas that have more than one child, or if you have one and you've been doing this longer than me, let me know. Cause like, I'm like, should I start getting rid of some of it? But like, obviously we're having more kids. So like, I'm just kind of stuck. I don't know. It feels like fine to me. And so these have been going, hang on baby, hang on. Those are gonna go back here in these guys. I got these on Amazon. This is one unit, that's one unit, that's one. And I've been putting them in here. Oh no, why'd she, oh, I did that. <laughs> Dude, my memory. I moved all of her books over here. So I've got a bunch of books in here. I recently just got these. I think they're really cool. So they're like flashcards kind of, but they're in Spanish and Espanol, which is awesome. We're teaching Harlow Spanish as well. Our nanny actually is very fluent in Spanish. Um, and as opposed to not being very fluent. That doesn't make any sense. Um, but anyways, yeah, these, these aren't like the, the highest quality, but they totally work. And yeah, so that's what I'm doing right now. I'm gonna be up for a little bit longer. I let this little one sleep in um, from her nap a little bit longer than usual. Oh, she turned the TV off, lost my spot. Wonderful. Um, yeah, so I also wanted to show you these. We. I got these from a company that I wanted to share with you in case you don't want to spend a million dollars on like prints. So these are not perfect, I would say. Like you can kind of see just a little bit right here, but I want to say like this website gave me a, f can I show this on YouTube? <laughs> Blur that out. Um, this company gave me a 50% off coupon and a 30% off. So these kind of came off my phone. So they're not the clearest and the canvas is kind of like textured, but these are just super cute. So I thought that they would look really good on the wall, kind of like one and one and two and two like stacked. So I just want to share this. I'll put this um, company for you guys in the description box below. I think I have a referral link, but I just wanted to share it because I think I paid like $20 for each of these and I just wanna show you. So these are a little bit cooler in my opinion, but these ones right here, this entire order with a discount was like, and these are way smaller, was like almost $400. And that's just not, I mean, I get it, it's good quality, but that's just a lot of money. So I don't know, I like the affordable option. So I'll leave you guys with that. And that's right, I'm gonna close off this vlog here and if you'd like to continue seeing more of the pregnancy journey for me for this little one i almost said their name again and i'm saying vague so i don't know if i've shared yet the gender um so yeah that's kind of it for me over here we are 16 weeks woo and feeling really good other than this freaking headache so i'm gonna go pour myself some water and um yeah let me know by thumbsing this video up if you guys want to see more pregnancy content. If you have any ideas or things that you'd like to see from me on this channel about the pregnancy, not about the pregnancy, whatever, drop it below because I always sift through that and respond to you guys and take notes about kind of like what we should do. So we will see you later. Bye guys.